1992 Cuervo Gold Crown. Colorado as a huge crowd settles in to watch Pro Beach Volleyball. Hello again, everyone. I'm Lynn Shackelford, and welcome. Benjamin Smith and Randy Stokos are leading at 7-6. to six. It is a game to 11. Sinjin Smith, age 35, one of the all-time greats ever, getting ready for a jump serve. Mike Whitmarsh, six foot seven, hitting the ball. Dug by Smith. And they go up in front, eight to six in the game to 11. A big play right there as Sinjin Smith, known for his defensive talents, makes a great dig. Sinjin Smith, Randy Stoklos did not get off to a good start in this match. They were down big early, but Randy Stoklos continued to side out fairly well. Sinjin Smith is in the play you just saw, continues to play good defense. He's setting the ball consistently, and Smith and Stoklos have moved out in front. Remember, this is only a game to 11. Cross court, a serve as we hit the three minute mark on the rally clock. Smith and Stoklos move ahead, 9 6. Remember, the winner of this match will meet Kart Kirai and Kent Steffes in the final. First prize, $80,000. In the round robin format, both teams had identical five and two records. Another dig by Smith, and a chance for a point. It's in, and it is a point. They take a 10 to six lead. Smith just operating right now, playing great defense, and then in transition, finding an opportunity to score. Okay, these are the second and third best teams in the round robin format. They all played seven games. Let's take a look at how all eight teams did. In eighth place, Adam Johnson and Ricky Ludes, they only won one game, their last one. Really a bad finish for Adam Johnson and Ricky Ludes, one of the hottest teams on the beach last summer, really struggling so far this year. Winning two out of the seven games, John Hanley and Brooke Vandeway and the team of Mike Dodd and Tim Hovland. Tim Hovland back out on the Pro Beach Tour after a severe injury to his foot. Two and five, not such a good tournament, but uh, they'll be uh, a much more competitive team later on in the summer. A good tournament for Troy Tanner and Dan Verbalovich. They won three out of the seven games, including a win over Smith and Stoklos. Even though they are only three and four, I thought they were one of the best teams out here consistently. They really played up to their potential. We had a solid team. Brian Lewis and Pat Powers in fourth place. Not, not happy campers this week. They struggled. They did not side out particularly well. And let's remember, this is the team that won in Clearwater, the first Cuervo Gold Crown event this year. So they were not playing particularly well this week. And in the playoff, of course, for second and third, the right to move into the finals, the teams of Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos, Brent Frohoff and Mike Whitmarsh with identical five and two records and the perfect record of Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. And nobody really pushed Kirai and Steffes. They were dominant throughout the course of the round, Robin. They've played one less game moving into the final, and uh, this is a match that I'm really looking forward to. You could just see the players' eyes light up when they saw all that prize money. $80,000 first prize should be a big battle for first place. All right, let's get back to the action. One added dimension is the rally clock, although Smith and Stoklos just one point away from victory. Paul Sunderland doesn't look like it's a factor. Well, I don't think it will be in the game to 11. 2.51 left on the clock. The clock only runs when the ball is in play. It's done forced errors right now by Frohoff and Whitmarsh. They had the lead. They were playing well, but uh, Smith and Stoklos just too steady right now in the semifinal. They will move on to meet Curie and Steffes. And a big round of applause from the fans as the Kings of the Beach, or are they the former Kings of the Beach? Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smoot move into the final to play Kent Steffes and Karch Karai, a matchup of beach volleyball's two best teams right now. Won by the team of Kent Steffes and Karch Karai. Kent Steffes will start it off with a jump serve. It'll be a game to 15, win by two. Blocked by Karai, chance for a point, but they get it up again. Look at this! What a start! A point for Karai! 
than Steffes, but they had to work for it. That's probably one of the top three or four points I've seen all summer long, and that is just point number one on the board for Kirai and Steffes. Tremendous digs, blocking by both teams, and there you see again the athletic ability of Kirai and Steffes, both taking turns blocking, playing defense. Kirai with the eventual transition kill. That's a nice shot. Nice shot over the block of Karai by Randy Stoklos, who stands in at six foot four, 215 pounds. Randy won almost $300,000 last year on the tour. And of course, he's going for our first prize, 80,000 to the first place team here. Nice shot. Little tap down by Karch Karai. Smith and Stoklos talked about how important it will be to serve tough. Both Kirai and Steffes pass the ball extremely well. The first underhand contact, that's the key to siding out well. Got to pass well. Big jump on the serve by Kirai. Chance to score. That's a great shot by Randy Stoklos down the line. Kirai and Steffes will serve Randy Stoklos probably 70% of the time. He's not a, as accurate a passer as Sinjin Smith, as you saw that time. The ball's moved eight, nine feet off the net, a point scoring opportunity for Kirai and Steffes. <laughs> Blocked by Randy Stoklos, and he's noted for that. Former MVP of the AVP Tour in 88, 89, and 91 is known for his blocking. Say, Randy Stokel has been bothered by a shoulder injury for the last month or so, and I think it's affected his total game. Looks much healthier, much sharper this weekend. His whole game coming up. Rubbing off the block this time, Kent Steffes. Conversely, uh, we talked about uh, Kirai and Steffes serving Randy Stoklos. Smith and Stoklos will serve Kent Steffes probably 80% of the time. He's much younger than Karch Kirai. They feel they can get to him if they keep the pressure on. Come on, play. Hang, hang on. Oh, a stuff block by Kirai. Only 6'3", but Karch Kirai jumped 46 inches when he was playing for the Olympic team and doesn't look like he's lost anything. Karch just hanging, winds up for the slap. All four of these players, ideal height for beach volleyball players. All 6'3 or 6'4. <laughs> Gotta come. A great dig by Steffes. Couldn't have been better. Right now, Karai and Steffes are showing you why they're the hottest team on the beach. They've won three out of the last four weeks. They block well. They transition extremely well. Kent Steffes has really been playing good defense behind Karch Kirai. Servant Stoklos consistently. Huge hit by Randy, and that is good for a much needed side out. Temperature probably in the low 80s here, and Paul for a beach volleyball tournament, no wind, amazing. This is perfect conditions. The bump set from Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos hammering the ball high and hard cross court. Smith and Stoklos have to get into a good side out rhythm. <laughs> Okay, right now, Kirai and Steph is having no trouble whatsoever. We should talk about the surface a little bit. Very hard packed sand. We had some rain yesterday. It really makes it a lot easier for all these players to jump out of. Yeah, I asked Karch if at this altitude, over 5,000 feet, you can jump higher. He goes, nope, the surface is more critical, and this surface is great for leaping. It's also good for Randy Stoklos, as you can see, as he starts to side out. Sinjin said that was critical, that they are able to side out in the contest. They're starting to do it, but they're down 3-1. They, Smith and Stoklos choosing to challenge Karch Kirai now, serving him just a little bit, Side see if they can change Steffes the momentum. Serving. But Kirai, like Steffes before him, siding out pretty easily. Come on. Come on. Easy chance, free ball for Kirai Steffes. Oh. Look out, Kirai Steffes out to a 4-1 lead, and every time Randy Stoklos or Sinjin Smith makes a mistake, it's a point on the board for Kirai Steffes. We'll be back with more here in the Cuervo Gold Crown in Boulder, Colorado, right after this.
Karai and Steffes leading four to one. And as you can see, the rally clock is also going in our game to 15. Nice side out by Randy, still close in the clock there. You see it starts when the ball's served, it stops when the ball is down. Only runs, obviously, when uh, play is, uh, the ball is in play. If the game is very long, a lot of side outs, then the rally clock will become a factor. Otherwise, it's a game to 15, win by two. And if the clock runs out, then you will, and the score is tied, next team to score wins. Only have to win by one in that scenario. Cut. Sinjin nice Smith shot. almost there, out. trying to run it down. Karch Karai going back to serve. Karch Karai <laughs> won the gold medal on the Olympic volleyball team in 1984 with Paul Sunderland, among others. And in 1988 in Korea, managed to do it again without me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a lot easier. <laughs> One reason why, as you can see, that jump serve. Rubbing off the block. Good hit by Randy Stoklos. Both these teams obviously are going to try to score with their jump serving. Randy uh, Stoklos, Sinjin Smith, Randy serve. Stoklos talked about it. I spoke with Karai and Steffes in the tent. They said we've got to come out and serve tough. You said the altitude wouldn't affect the game that much, but that's the one area where it really does, is the jump serve. In the thin air, the ball just carries. The players have to be much more conservative, particularly in the beginning of these games until they really get a feel for the court. Six foot four, only 24 years old. Kent yeah, Steffes going serve. high over the block of Stoklos. He is really leaping. And a tap down by Stoko. Stokos and Steffes, incidentally, attended the same high school, Palisades Sinjin High School Smith, in Pacific sir. Palisades, California. Sinjin Smith went to Loyola High School. They all were at UCLA in one way or another. Smith and Kirai had tremendous careers. Smith, who is serving right now, two-time All-American. Kirai, three-time. There it is. Come on. Yes, Coming, nice play. They're making it look very easy, Paul, right now. Karai and Steph is confident, talented. Well, you know, siding out is the key, gaining possession. When the other team is virtually having no chance to score, you gain so much confidence. Everything starts to free flow. You take more chances with your serve because you feel that your offensive game is pretty invincible. A two-hand set by Smith. And Stoklos hits it off the block. Sinjin almost always uses a bump set, so that's uh, rare for him. We'll see it again probably next season, but part most of the reason is because, of course, the injury to his wrist. Yeah. Uh, well documented last year, had it operated twice uh, in the offseason. Seems to be fine now. Go alive! Nice set on the off play. Okay, right now, Kirai and Steffes are playing flawlessly. Smith and Stoklos with two good chances to score and just could not put the ball away. Kent Steffes started to play volleyball at Stanford, transferred to UCLA, and never really got going there. Attends UCLA as a student in the off season. That's the winter, obviously. A little pokey by Sinjin Smith, and it works. It wasn't pretty, but it's effective. Okay, Sinjin Smith, 35 years old, been on the tour for 15 years, and when Sinjin the ball is set tight, which it was there, he rarely, if ever, costs his team a point. He just knows how to get out of trouble. And they know, they know how to win, too. They won the Cuervo here in Boulder last year. They beat Frohoff and Scott Akatubby. Well, winning his team of all time. And now being very challenged for the number one spot. Right now, Kirai and Steffes are ranked number one on the computer. Uh, have beaten Smith and Stoklos six out of seven times this summer. And, uh, you know, with a victory here, really would solidify their spot. Kent Steffes up high off the top of the block. You don't even see Sinjin Smith in the picture. The play on that Smith would dig line. Oh, great serve by Karch Karai. Obviously, there are a lot of things to Karch Karai's game, but uh, his jump serve isn't bad. He really tosses it high. Well, Karch has about four different speeds of jump serve. He has the deep one where he just wants to keep the ball in play, the short one, and then he's got the half heater and then the full heater. You just saw the full heater up the middle. He really doesn't care who he's serving there. He's just trying to serve in the court as hard as he possibly can. Timeout called on the court. 
And with the score five to one, Smith and Stoklos, I think, wisely decide to use one of their four timeouts. We are right next to the Rocky Mountains here in Paul Sunderland. I'm Lynn Shackelford. Karch Karai with an easy jump serve puts it in play. The ball hit the net, did not go over, and Sinjin's having, having some hitting problems, I think, right now. Well, that was a perfect set. Unforced error by Sinjin Smith, and right now, Smith and Stoklos are really starting to feel the pressure. They're down 6-1. Kirai and Steph is on a roll and looking invincible. It goes right back to Sinjin Smith. And lightning. Out. The ball is hit out, so Sinjin taking off the speed. Hits a cut and hits it out, and he's down 7-1. to one. Usually when you come out of a timeout, you try to reverse the momentum, and it didn't help at all. I'll tell you, you won't see Sinjin Smith make two hitting errors like that back-to-back -back all summer long. You know where this serve is going. Right to Sinjin. No, he serves Randy. And Smith, uh, Stoklo sides out. So I think Karai missed it. Got to take another timeout. But it, they're feeling so confident right now. He's going, hey, I'm just going to rip it up the middle. Smith and Stoklos have got four timeouts to use in the game to 15. They've taken one. They need to take another one right now and stop the bleeding. There it is. Yeah. In a game to 15, they're down 8-1. to one. They've got a long way to go now, and they know it. So with the timeout, it is now Karai and Steffes in a commanding 8-1 to one lead. Sinjin Smith mishandles the serve by Karch Karai. Unbelievably unforced errors by one of the greatest teams ever, maybe the greatest. And they are now down 9-1. to one. They're going to have to make one of their greatest comebacks here in Boulder. We'll see if they can do it in just a minute. Karch Karai roll, feeling so confident. Karai once again going deep middle. And Sinjin Smith, I think the best passer of all time on the Pro Beach Tour. Shanks here and Karai and Steffes go out to a commanding nine to one lead and Lynn uh, Smith and Stoklos have to get into some kind of groove offensively and with the serving of Kirai and Steffes they just don't seem to be able to find it and here's another unforced error this is the worst I've seen Smith and Stoklos play in five years I think Sinjin's hit a wall I mean he's hitting the ball into the net on that replay on that missed pass he didn't move his feet a sure sign when you're playing that you're a little bit tired and it's not windy out here. The conditions are perfect. The ball is coming certainly, you know, 80 miles an hour from Karch Kirai. But it's not as if the wind conditions are, are playing havoc with the game. It's perfect playing conditions. So Kirai helps the opposition a little bit, missing a serve. Was it touched? Yes. Yes, it was. Side Randy out. Stokros on the block. That's a side out. A 10 to 1 lead here in Boulder. Who would have thunk it? Over seven and a half minutes left on the clock. Smith and Stoklos are not out of this match. If they can side out, obviously for a long period of time, and keep Ryan Steffes off the scoreboard, which seems impossible. There's another one. I'll tell you, this young kid, Kent Steffes, he's been lifting weights. He's been doing his jump training, and it all pays off because after you dig a ball, you got to come back into transition, and right now, this team of Kirai and Steph is unstoppable, 11-1 lead. They were unbeaten in the round, Robin, 7-0, so they come in with a great deal of confidence, and they've got even more now. Another timeout is called by the team of Smith Breaking and Stoklos, and I don't think that's a bad idea either. Jose Cuervo, They've got to really regroup, and, and Sinjin doesn't want to sit down and rest. He wants to stay out on the court. Maybe he's afraid he's going to stiffen up if he goes over and sits down. Well, I think he's just really disappointed in himself because uh, he's had his share of injuries, but he has been playing very good volleyball. So Last week in San Diego, he was unbelievable played great defense, was able to side out extremely well, although it was in a losing cause to the same team of Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. Sinjin Smith has been playing well, but uh, to have a letdown like this, once you've gotten to the finals, and once you've gotten into a position to reclaim a little bit of that uh, crown that Kirai and Steffes have taken away, he, Only two kills. The yeah. big number, of course, though, is unforced errors. Three unforced errors, all leading directly to points for Kirai and Steffes. No, no! And the wind comes up, and the ball blows out on the serve. One serving 11.
Somebody in the crowd yells, give him the sky ball. Sinjin is known for his sky ball. So they can give him the stink ball. Try anything to get some momentum. Here's a chance. Karai is there, though. And he puts it away. Unconscious. Smith with a good swing and a chance to score off the nice Josh dig. And, you know, maybe Kirai and Stephas have really done their homework scouting Smith and Stoke close, really reading them well in terms of where they want to attack the ball into what areas of the court. Come on, out! The ball is out again, so they're really trying to crank those serves. Maybe the altitude, the ball is sailing farther and going out. Well, also, they've been siding out like a machine. They're not concerned about even giving up even a couple of points with an 11-1 lead. So whenever they go back to score now, I think they're just going to crank it up and try to get this thing over with. It's just automatic. One, two, three for the team of Karai and Steffes. 11 years Smith and Stoklos have been together. They've been the kings of the beach. They've never really been pushed as much as they have this summer by any team. And this team is Steffes and Karai that is pushing really hard to dethrone them. Sinjin another. Smith with another one. Unbelievable. You don't see that more than once a summer. Red card. Red card by Bobby Clark. That's an automatic point on top of the point they just scored from the unforced error. There you see Bobby Clark, renowned international referee, the offending party, unsportsmanlike conduct we're hearing from Randy Stoklos. And now the lead goes to 13 to 1. 13 to 1. So it's all but over right now. All Smith and all Steffes and Karai have to do is keep their health. Another timeout call by the team of uh, Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith. So we'll come back here to Boulder, Colorado and watch the new great team, Steffes and Karai, perhaps put this away. Player of all time, two Olympic gold medals. He disdained playing in 1992 to get back out on the beach and try to become the number one player in the world on the sand. I really decided three years ago to an ace for the team of Steffes and Karai, and they change sides now, leading 14 to 1 here. What a rout in Boulder, Colorado, and the Cuervo Gold Crown. Smith and Stoklos are out of game. They're out of timeout. They're out of timeouts. They're out of luck. And uh, I have never, ever seen them routed to this extent. They have never gotten into any sort of side-out rhythm, consistency. They have not served well. Um, clearly a, a performance that they would like to forget and get over with. Kirai and Steffes have been unbelievably dominant. There you're looking at the winningest player in the history of Pro Beach Volleyball. Sinjin Smith has won 132 events in his career on the Pro Beach Volleyball Tour, now 35 years of age and still playing very, very well. This has just been an unbelievable performance by Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. The Cuervo Gold Crown is sanctioned by the Association of Volleyball Professionals, and of course they are the official sanctioning body in pro beach volleyball. We had the best eight teams of the AVP here competing all weekend. And this team, Steffes and Karai, have dominated all. That's it, that's it. One of the quickest and most decisive finals ever in Cuervo Gold Crown history. Kent Steffes and Karch Karai with a 15 to 1 route. And I hate to say it, but it wasn't that close. It was <laughs> If there was ever a doubt that Karch Karai and Kent Steffes are now the number one team in the world of pro beach volleyball, there is no longer any question about it. The former Kings, Car uh, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stoklos, just completely vanquished today. Karai and Kent Steffes with a rather easy win here in the final. 15 to 1 over Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos. And down court side is Paul Sunderland.